What's up, guys? Nick Gia back again today, playing some more modded Arc Pugnacia. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. If you like the video today, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe as well. I look like Bob the Builder. Uh, so we're doing a video today. I'm not doing a stream. I got other stuff I got to do. And I am standing here freezing to death. Because I have started uh, putting together the... Um, the base, the, not the base, the copper base, and I ate a slushy, which is out of here. It's blue highlighted because I have the uh, builder's helmet on. Um, yes, I ate a slushy. It says gives you some side effect perks. Um, contains small pieces of ice for fish. It's your body like an oasis. Um, so what has actually happened, you can see in the bottom of the screen, I have 680 seconds left of freezing to death. Uh, it's not dropping my health. It just makes the sound effects uh, like I am freezing. You know, steampunk has a way of saying it gives you perks. Sort of like eating the food out of there that if you tuned into my stream, I almost fell off. If you tuned into my stream last night, I ate one of those and it turned me green, glowy, and um, it looked like I was on fire. So I'm not sure what exactly the perk was behind that, um, but it says that it gave me a perk. Um, so that is to be determined. Uh, so I have been in here a little bit just in the last hour, hour and a half, uh, working off stream, off camera altogether, and I have started putting the things together for um, at least one of the pieces of armor. So I've started making the rough diamonds. You see I have a ton of copper sheets, um, and... So we're, we're giving it a shot. We're trying it out. I'd like to make that entire base all copper. Uh, no um, modern machinery of any kind. The armor's horribly, horribly expensive. Um, 60 rough diamonds, 450 leather. Uh, leather does not craft fast. Uh, 450 fiber, which isn't an issue. Copper plates, 180. Mm -hmm. That's expensive for one piece of armor. Um, so I don't know that I'm really going to do a whole lot with that armor. Um, I might just make the base. So I got uh, the copper stairs. Um, I'm going to replace this as I get there. Um, I'm going to do mm -hmm. copper rails all the way around the building. Uh, and you can see what I have going on so far. So huge big structure. Um, there is, uh, stone, uh, ceilings all the way around the building. So I'm going to do everywhere around it as, uh, copper railings. And, uh, I added a second tannery and this is what I'm talking about as far as it makes two at a time as far as the leather goes. Um, it's powered by coal. See, I got a ton of hide in each of, of these, but it crafts so slow. I mean... So, okay. So that can just be that and just sit there. So we made a um, couple of uh, glass uh, windows so we can see the, the background. And then I have the stairway to heaven. This took some time to make all the way to the bottom so um it's all the tech ramps that are uh then turned into stairs with the railing so that kind of sucked to have to make that um and then i started with this little tiny building um i have nothing in it i don't even have a roof yet but it's just there so if i run down uh with a dinosaur I can park him in there before going into the water so that it doesn't get eaten by things. And I'm going to end up putting behemoth gates all the way down to the rocks. 
uh, but that is going to take a a holy cow amount of uh, polymer. The, all the other stuff doesn't matter. We we have the other stuff. Um, we just don't have that polymer. So, um, yeah. So in here, I have crafting um, coal. All the coal in the world because I moved a ton of wood. And what am I out of? I'm out of metal, ingots, and stone? Really? Okay. I can fix that. So with the... Um, with this mod the way that it is, if I grab one stone... And I'm starting to smelt all this metal. Which is a lot. And one piece of metal... Then if you put it in here... Now I can pull it. So you click on it, and so that was metal ingots. So then it pulls from, shows where everything is. Okay, so I have five grand in the bulk forges. So we're gonna pull both of those, and uh, stone as well. So let's come down here to stone, and I've, I've got I've got a ton of it. So. There's 8,000 in Snuggles, the Spine Breaker. Crafting station. Let's pull 40 grand. Pull. Alrighty. Now that we're done with that, now we can take five of this and five of this. It's a bit of a process. It's not a, um, it's not a matter of, um, just shooting it with the gun like it used to. Uh, it it doesn't it doesn't work like that anymore. So there's our copper locker pull. Now we just put all that in there. Okay, the other one was uh, metal ingots. Uh, copper locker pull. Okay, so we have that taken care of. Now we can continue the daunting process of making. of making all of the copper. Okay, every once in a while I see his tail flop around. So we're going to probably have to move him in a different direction. Okay, uh, that's annoying. And I don't know that I'm going to move that um, oil drum. It's going to be a process because I have... 79 whatever i not fast at math so whatever 79 times 5000 that's how much oil i have in there that's from the basilosaurs basil sores ba mm -hmm. uh, yeah so it's from one of those and you get a crap ton of oil um also came in here and everything was in my base eating the all the things I have all my I always set all my dinos and Mr. Fister and whatever else to passive and um, because dyn uh, flying dinosaurs have a way of disappearing um, which would make me rage and we don't want that to happen so I put up two of the um, tech shields they made a revision to these because they used to, you had to put element in them. So it requires element to be activated. Um, now they're drawing power off of the... Um, off of the tech generator. So I put a thousand elements in there and it's working just fine. I'm not sure that this is... A necessary thing anymore but I have all this gas in there so it's not hurting anything sitting out here so I just left it running so um, so I went out mm -hmm. after the stream ended mm -hmm. and looking for um, I had seen on I wonder if it still is even picking it up on the scanner it showed Glacial Megalodon 
one at a level 2000. Uh, why are we frozen? Uh, totally locked up. Really? What's happening? Are, are we done? Uh, we might be done. Nope. And we're back. Okay. So Glacial Megalodon, it showed two. One at 2,000, one at 1,200. Mm -hmm. So I went out and looked mm -hmm. for them. Yeah, it still shows them. Look, there's now three of them. This area that it's showing these doesn't exist. When you go there, there is no cave of any kind. I, I spent almost two hours looking for it. Mm -hmm. But 2048, mm -hmm. if you look at the map... Um, there it goes. 2048 is actually the middle of a snow mountain. Um, and I looked all underneath it and all the way around everywhere I could think of. Found a couple of neat little cave or cove kind of things, but there's, there's no water. So I don't know what it's, um what it's picking up. Wow. This thing just keeps on making all all the berries. What's going on? Yeah, so I don't know what it's picking up. Um, there very well could be the best megalodons in the world sitting down there, but I sure can't find them. So, like I said, I spent almost two hours yesterday looking for them. Uh, we, I forget to collect the narco berries out of there. That is a, that is the crop plots that you get when you kill the plant guy, uh, the plant boss guy. Okay, so there's 5,000 uh, narcotics. So, I'm going to figure out what I can do about a roof. I also need to make it two more taller, which sucks. Um, I think I'm going to do a row of glass all the way around. Or I might just do the... See, I tried to break it up with the little decorative things in here. Um, so I'm going to figure out about that and about some sort of electricity. I think there's a coal. Wait a minute. Okay. There is a, there's an electric workstation, which I'm not sure that I have. Okay, I did get it. There's that. And if you hook something to the side of it, a coil or something like that, here, steam-powered coil generator, large machine that converts steam into electricity. We just need more panels, and I can make that right now. I've got glass panels. Oh, we are lagging today. And I know it's not from that um, steampunk, because I don't even have a I have I don't have a, a laggy uh, thing going there. And steam-powered press. And while we're at it, might as well make that too. Okay. And so, holy crap, that's massive. Why, why is it like stuck to our face? Um, right click. No. Okay. So I'm going to figure out how the heck to place that. And we're going to just take this too because I've never done anything with it so it doesn't need to be there so I think that corner is a candidate spot so I will bring you guys back in a few minutes all right and we're back all right so uh, this is what I have so far um, this corner the walls placed funny and I have taken the entire thing down and put it back up and it doesn't fix it so i don't know what that deal is but this door didn't place here either so i think the steampunk doesn't uh like to play with s plus um which is too bad because 
this whole thing is floating. Um, and I, th I suspect that that's what the deal is, is that there's no actual foundation to it, and it doesn't like that. And I don't care. So that's what we're going to do. So um, I keep trying to place these. They See how it's snapping? It keeps unbreaking the walls, which is giving me a bit of a, a fit, but uh, we're good. So um, FPS has not dropped at all. We will see what happens once the ceilings go up. I suspect that that's going to make the FPS fall dramatically. I also made a snow machine. It's giant. So I'm not sure where we're going to put this or why we even need it. Does it actually do anything? Some of these don't do anything like this. It looks really cool, but this doesn't actually do anything. And when you connect it, this to it, uh, you have to put um, water. You have to fill all these up and put water in there. It makes steam. Um, it says it crafts five times oil and fertilizer, powers the, powers the steam coil generator, fill with water to power. Um, so it powers the coil generator, yet nothing will attach to it even when it wasn't stuck in the corner. Oh, okay. And it's snowing. Yeah. So uh, we can make it snow in here. Oh yeah, look at outside. It is snowing. Oh wait a minute. Snowball. Added 50 snowballs. Okay, what can we do with said snowball? Uh, pulling the pin starts a five second timer to an explosion. Alright. Really? Did you hear it? Listen. That was it. Okay. So, um, yeah. So we've effectively, um, it's now snowing all over the place. Um, so that might be kind of fun to, um, we're going to pick it up because that's not necessary to have in our base. Um, oh look, this one's magical. It is the magical, mythical floating snowball. All right, well, so that's, oh look, it dropped it all over the place. Do they have a pickup? No, they're just gonna, it's, they're just gonna sit there. Okie dokie. See, that's some of the th some of the new things that you learn about in a game. All right, so let's get rid of that. So I made three of these copper hull roofs. Um, to my knowledge, they do not snap as well. Uh, let's hope they have changed that because I'm going to put them over top of the door, which doesn't look like that's actually going to work. Let's just fly up here and have a peek. Uh, yeah, so that isn't going to work, and at that, I don't know how I'm supposed to attach anything to it. And can I stand on the door? And release? Yes. Okay, well, that's, that's a nifty little thing. Okay, so they do hook like that, about number two. Uh, this does not... The hell is that? Oh. Interesting. Oh. Crap. Okay, okay, okay. Don't get crazy. All right. So now that we have that, I missed. 
back up here again. Try this again. Did it fine the first time. There we go. All right. So now that we have that, uh, that's actually... Okay. So that does snap, so that's that's a good thing. Right? No. Can Okay. That's interesting. Quite quite a bit interesting. Now, what happens? Nothing. Okay. So they do have a bit of a um, it's nice that they all f snap in the right direction. Uh, so they do have a bit of a floating quality to them. Okay. I'm kind of thinking that we're going to do them all the way across. thinking so. No. Oh, okay. I see. I see. That's how you're going to be. Just when I thought, oh, wow, they've actually fixed the um, thing and now they will all go in the right direction. And it does that. Uh-huh. Okay. I get you. I get you. Oh, there's not a way to correct that. Okay, so why did that be a thing and the other ones didn't? Look at, what is this? What is this? Oh, er, arc. All right. Oh, and we're out. Okay, dokie. So, how many wide is this? One, two. So it's eight. So we need eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, actually, no, we don't. We need one, two, three, four. Okay. So let's make that. Uh oh, got a head tech armor on. Okay. So we're gonna come in here. We're gonna make four of the decorative ceilings. Uh, copper. We're going to make four of these. And then where's the hull roof? Hull roof. If you were a hull roof, there you would be. Okay. So eight. I think 12. That's not a right number. But yeah, naturally when, when you break them, when you break the roofs, they don't give you what they cost back. No, they give you, like, nothing back. I think they give you, well, they give you two panels and two cement paste. It's like, or two uh, metal. It's like, okay, that costs 25 metal to make, or 25 metal plates to make. So, see, this is, it's just all part of, it's all part of the experience. The experience of building an arc. Okay. Um, okay. So let's finish. That's not the right button. No. Er. What? What is? Th what is the? What is this about? Why? Why does it? It it won't believe me that I want it to snap that way. Uh. Uh. Come on. Okay. So on this side, that one snapped right. On this one. It refuses to snap properly. 
Okay, so let's see what happens if I did this. Oh, for goodness sakes. Aha, uh -huh. that's how you trick it. Okay, and I'm missing one. How did I not make the right amount of them? Okay. I don't know how this is going to look from the outside. Which, you know, this is PVE, so it is about the look. Three, four, five, and I need one more of those. That was actually pretty good. Okay, so I need five more of the hull. This is getting quite expensive. And one more of the decorative ceiling that won't place in the proper direction. We have to trick it. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, did we, we have said? Huh? I did make that ceiling, didn't I? Okay, that was weird. Okay, now it made it. Um, I do need eight of them. I did count incorrectly, but I guess I already made extras. Okay, so let's go and finish our roof. Actually, yeah, that's kind of cool. I dig that. I like it. I wish there was something that kept it all the way across. Uh, you know, it's two totally different heights. Okay. So, you're going to still do that. Um, okay. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We have to trick it, and there's no point in making an extra one. Okay. So that works. I like that you have to trick the game to do what you want. Okay. And we did make too many of the holes. Now, what would happen if... Hope that they didn't just screw that all up. Ah. Interesting. Now, did we fool and fight with them for nothing? Uh, that corner isn't fantastic. Hmm. I might. Do one of these. How does that look? That looks stupid. But is it better to have... Okay, stop flying away. Stop going so fast. Oh, for God's sakes. Okay. Is it better? Which one's better? I'm kind of thinking just keep it the same all the way across. So get rid of this. Can you pick it up? Thank you. I'm thinking that. Uh, which means, wait for it, we need 
more holes. Still have snowballs on me. Okay. So one more time doing this, I need three copper hulls. And I think the roof of the of the copper base is going to be finished and then we need um I kind of like those graded graded ones. I think those are sharp looking. This is a very neat mod. Um, they really have uh, figured out um, or really thought of everything. Um, except how to get this to snap. No, no, don't don't play don't play stupid games with me here. That works. All right. Yep. Just figured out what we can put on the roof. I can always fly up here. There. Now it can snow and drop snowballs all, all over the place. That's pretty cool sticks through and it just accentuates how not straight on that is that is not the that is not our biggest concern right now I like how the I, I like the, the pattern um, and it is not framey in the least bit which surprises me because I would figure that those graded ones would create a uh, frame ah Look, it's snowing. Yeah, I moved to Florida just to get away from the snow, and I just walked right back into it. All right. Well, that's cool, and that's where we're going to end it. Uh, I will work on uh, getting the... Um, making it not such a square box. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I think that it's just going to be a square box, but I will see what I can come up with, and I'm going to get some rails, and I don't know about these snowballs. Um, so, so that's going to do it for me. So if you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.